क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी सिक्स म्यूटेशन ब्रीडिंग इन मूंग बीन हेल्प्स टू मेक इट रेजिस्टेंट अगेंस्ट येलो मोजैक वायरस ओनली बैक्टीरियल ब्लाइट पाउडरी मिल्ड्यू ओनली येलो मोजैक वायरस एंड पाउडरी मिल्ड्यू बोथ म्यूटेशन ब्रीडिंग इन मूंग बीन हेल्प्स टू मेक इट रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट बोथ येलो मोजैक वायरस एज वेल एज पाउडरी मिल्ड्यू सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-seven. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. That stating them true or false. A statement says that by adding organic matter, BGA increases soil fertility. They also reduce alkalinity of soil. BGA, blue green algae, they increase the soil fertility. Yes, of course, and they reduce alkalinity of soil also. This is also a true statement. So this is correct. B one integrated pest management or IPM is integration of tactics for economic control of pest. Yes, this IPM it does not believe in complete eradication of the pest. Although rather it believes that the pest should be controlled at the manageable level. because they also contribute to the biodiversity so this is also true statement c most species of azotobacter are symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria no they are free living nitrogen fixing bacteria so this is false d worm vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza has significant role in phosphorus nutrition in plants this is true mycorrhiza it's a symbiotic association between roots of higher plants and fungi these fungi they can absorb the nutrition for the plants in return it can get the food from the plant now the nutrients which can be absorbed by fungi can be anything but especially it is phosphorus so this is true so true true false true by analyzing the option we can say the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 98 each codon is made of three adjacent nitrogen bases and there are 61 codons for various amino acids how many substitution point mutations are possible for these 61 codons this is interesting question where you have to just calculate See here in this question, it is said that each codon is made up of three adjacent nitrogen bases. It means A U G. For example, A U G is a codon which codes for methionine. This one codon has one, two, three, three bases. Correct. Likewise, there are sixty-one codons for various amino acids. Means. If this AUG, a single codon, this codes for methionine, for various amino acids, the total number of codons in a cell are sixty-one codons. Now, how many nitrogen bases will be there in sixty-one codons? If one codon has three bases, then sixty-one codons will have sixty-one into three, that is one eighty-three nitrogenous bases. correct how many substitution point mutations are possible in these 61 codons in a single codon if i talk about a u g how many substitution point mutations are possible this a can be substituted by three other nitrogenous bases it can be substituted by u g or c it means a single base can be substituted by three nitrogenous bases so one nitrogenous base can be substituted by three nitrogenous bases if we talk about 183 then 183 nitrogenous bases can be substituted by 183 into 3 that is 549 So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-nine. During translation process in cytoplasm, a peptide bond is formed between 
COH group of first amino acid and NH2 group of second amino acid. The rate of formation of peptide bond is enhanced by catalyst that is or R. Peptide bond formation is enhanced by a catalyst which is present in the larger subunit of the ribosome. In prokaryotes, it is 23SRRNA which is present in the larger subunit of the ribosome and in eukaryotes it is 20SRRNA. Why not 16 and 18? Because they are present in the smaller subunit of RNA. Enzyme amino cell tRNA synthetase? No. Elongation factor? No. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 100. When a piece of DNA is propagated during recombinant DNA procedure, it requires a vector. If you want to propagate this DNA molecule, so this is a piece of DNA molecule which you want to propagate. This cannot be propagated independently. It requires a vector. You must have studied in your class 12th biotechnology chapter. Why? Why this vector is needed? Because this DNA cannot undergo replication without ORI site which is origin of replication. This piece of DNA does not have origin of replication. Vector has origin of replication. So vector provides origin of replication to the piece of DNA and it can be propagated easily. So why this DNA requires vector just to provide the origin of replication. So why vector is needed when we propagate the DNA to provide the origin of replication. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm.